What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Tanane and this is everything I am. Once again, I come bearing gifts. So 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of us. Over 330,000 people have passed away from COVID-19. I myself was um, hit hard by it because my mother and her wife actually contracted the, the virus. They did survive, they are doing well, they are doing, um, they're still here. But for a lot of us, 2020 has been a curse or a blessing. A lot of us were able to stay home and spend more time with our families and our children. And a lot of us were <laughs> able to stay home and spend more time with our children and our family. In 2020, a way of life changed. And I wanted to come to you all today to give you some of the things that I think we should leave right here in 2020. The number one thing that I believe should stay right here in 2020, this is my number one. Those eyelashes that touch your eyebrow, that come all the way up when you, when you close when you close your eyes, the lashes come down here. When you open them, they come up here. Lee those in 2020. Eyelashes are supposed to look natural. There is no natural in any of that. It's not net. Stop putting these rock. Stop. Stop wearing the eyelashes that look like crow's feet. You know that got spaces in it. Don't do that. Leave those in 2020. Them eyelashes, leave them in 2020. Please. Another thing that should be left in 2020 are the statuses on Facebook where it might say, all my children have the same father. I bet you can't steal this status. Or all my children were conceived after marriage. I bet you can't steal this status. I don't have a DUI. I bet you can't steal this status. Y'all so judgy. Stop being so judgy. Some people have made mistakes. Some people take different paths than others. Stop being so judgy. Stop them. I bet you can't steal this status. You judge yourselves. <sighs> Another thing that should be left in 2020. Stop making up new meanings for words. I had to use my contest clues to figure out what people were talking about when they said, no cap. Are you capping? The hell does that mean? The only cap I know is the cap that go on top of a bottle. You just you unscrew the cap. That's what that is. Or put a cap in that ass. That's a bullet. I know what that means. I literally had to use my contest clues and figure out that no cap meant no lie. Cap has three letters. Lie has three letters. Why we just can't say lie? Why we gotta say no cap? Who made that? Who did that? Who made that up? What does no cap mean? According to Yahoo, according to Urban Dictionary, when someone writes no cap, it basically means that they're not lying or capping like they did something. In other words, people say no cap to convey that they're being totally and completely honest. Who, who, who redefined that word? Let me know. Because I don't know. Another thing that should be left in 2020. So I know a lot of us, you know, when when the pandemic hit, the U.S. shut down. Okay. There was, you know, we shut, we shut down here in Florida. You know, we were working from home. We were having Zoom meetings or no meetings at all. We were doing 
what we could do in the office. But somehow, working from home gave us the license to day drink. And some of us took that to the extreme. Leave that day drinking in 20... Okay, so granted, some people like to day drink. I get it. But some people were doing a lot more day drinking in 2020 because of what was going on. Leave the... The liquor people love you. I mean... But hey, leave the day drinking in 2020. Cut back. You know? Stop that. Somewhere. So a lot of people uh, want to leave COVID-19 in 2020, and I agree. I, I wish this virus would, you know, when, when the clock strike midnight on, on January 1st, I pray deeply that the virus will just stay, it can't cross over. I'm praying that COVID-19 can't cross over. But I also want people to leave COVID-20 in 2020 as well. What is COVID-20, you might ask? Them 20 pounds you gained while quarantining at the house. Leave them 20 pounds in 20, no? 15? Oh, 30. Who gained 30 pounds? The weight you gained during quarantine, where whether it be the COVID, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, leave them pounds in 2020. Don't take them to 2021 with you. So you got approximately, what's today? December 27th? So you have approximately 20, 29, 30, 30, four days to lose the weight that you gained in 2020 so you can leave it in 20, so you won't have to take it in 2021. Four days. Hey, better get to getting. Take a laxative, I don't know. I'm still wearing. 2020 has been one for the record books. It's been a year like I have not seen in my lifetime. We it was chaos in the USA. Someone said that the USA, uh, America was a third world country wearing a Gucci belt. And I couldn't argue with them. It's like we portray to be this big bad country with everything together and when this pandemic happened, everything just fell apart. We were not prepared. We were not prepared mentally, emotionally we, we weren't prepared so going into 2021 I would ask that you leave everything that does not serve you in the best way in 2020 whether that means leave toxic people in 2020 leave bad habits in 2020 leave fear in 2020 leave all of it behind if it doesn't suit you if it doesn't empower you if it does not upgrade you leave it where it is don't take it into 2021 because 2021 is going to be your best year yet 
I said it today, right now. Hey, 2021 is the best year yet. So take everything that you've learned in the year 2020, good, bad, call it up, and put it to use in four days. Until next time, thank you for coming to see me today. This is everything I am. Deuces.